Good morning. I'm glad you could join me this morning. I hope you're staying healthy and staying safe. A little bit of news from the church family. I talked to Jean Corn yesterday afternoon. She's getting better, but still not sure when she's going to be able to leave the hospital. Be in prayer for her and her husband, Herb. Still waiting on some new guidelines to come out of the governor's office. I know he's supposed to make an announcement sometimes later on today. I've seen a proposal that came out yesterday, but we're just going to have to wait and see what else comes out. After he does so, we can start making plans for reopening the church. However, for the moment, we're still in a little bit of a holding pattern. Yesterday I asked the question, what was the first bird that Noah released from the ark? And the answer was the raven. Today, I got another question for you. And if you know the answer to it, just keep it to yourself and hang on to it till tomorrow morning. Who was the first person to recognize Jesus as the Messiah when they brought him into the temple as a baby? Who recognized Jesus as the Messiah when he was brought to the temple as a baby? Tonight, we're going to be looking at the judge of Jephthah, the ninth judge of Israel. I want to give you a little bit of a preview from it this morning, from Judges chapter 11, beginning in verse 1. Now, Jephthah the Gilead was a valiant warrior, but he was the son of a harlot. And Gilead was the father of Jephthah. Gilead's wife bore him sons, and when his wife's sons grew up, they drove Jephthah out and said to him, You shall not have an inheritance in our father's house, for you are the son of another woman. So Jephthah fled from his brothers and lived in the land of Tob. And worthless fellows gathered themselves about Jephthah, and they went out with him. Amen and amen. Here we have Jephthah, destined to be a great leader. But suffice it to say, he came from rather humble beginnings. One of the things that we see over and over in the Bible, both in the Old Testament and the New Testament, is that God takes in all kinds of people. It doesn't matter if you're young like David or old like Moses. It doesn't matter if you're wealthy like Joseph of Arimathea or very poor like Elijah. God still wants you to come and to be a part of his kingdom. Jephthah was a result of a liaison between his dad and a prostitute. He was not accepted by his brothers, and when they're old enough to do so, they ran him off and forced him to go live somewhere else. Yet, as we will see tonight, God accepted him and even used him in a magnificent way. In God's eyes, it doesn't really matter where you came from or what the circumstances you were born into. You are still made in God's image, and Christ died for you. Please don't make the mistake of thinking that you aren't good enough for God. God knows your every secret, and yet he still says that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Father, for the understanding that we have that you are always wanting us, Father, Wherever we've been, whatever we've done, Father, there's still a place for us in your kingdom. Lord, help us to remember that good news. Father, we love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope to see you tomorrow morning.